Former White House doctor and Texas Congressman Ronnie Jackson is sounding the alarm on President Biden's health ahead of the 2024 season. Here's OAN White House correspondent Monica Page. President Biden's cognitive acuity is something this administration is unable to mask any longer. And many voters are seeing what appears to be a cognitive and physical decline on full display. I'm joined by Dr. Sherry O'Donnell, who's also running for Senate in Michigan. Dr. Sherry, thank you so much for joining us here. Uh, we've seen the president physically stumbling on stage. We heard him verbally stumbling, forming at times really incoherent sentences. I just saw him leave off the South Lawn this morning, heading over to Georgia, and he seemed pretty feeble just, just from watching him walk across the lawn. Now Texas Congressman and former White House doctor Ronnie Jackson is expressing serious concerns now. So from your experience as a renowned physician and medical director, what's the most alarming to you? Monica, thank you for having me this morning. And I can tell you that there absolutely is cognitive dysfunction with him. I've seen from almost the time that he took his office that the man cannot continue to have a normal conversation. Looking at as a physician speaks to the fact that the man has dementia and likely has secondary Parkinson's. He's confabulating his words, which means he doesn't complete the words that are there and he mixes words up. And it's just a dangerous thing to have him in office as president. We've lost credibility with our voters in the United States and America, let alone on the international level. Yeah, and Dr. Sherry, the language this administration is using is, is also really dangerous. We've heard Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre and other allies of the president dismissing these claims, now using these new buzzwords, such as wise and experience, to describe him. And really, many are calling on the administration to release the, a cognitive test. I mean, how important is transparency on this issue now more than ever? This is the man that we're calling, you know, the leader of our country. That is huge. Now, again, not only for American respect, but also in the international respect. Most other industries that are especially leading lives and responsible for lives have to go through some cognitive testing. The airline industry, as a pilot ages out. In medicine, we still have to prove the capability and mental capacity to, comp uh, to do our jobs efficiently before we continue in medicine. He is taking the hands of Americans and the lives of Americans and putting us in danger by being cognitively disimpaired. Dr. Sherry, you're running for the great state, uh, for Senate in the great state of Michigan that also really has a large Arab American population as well. And that demographic is also losing support with the president due to his handling of the war in the Middle East. You know, as we know, Michigan is a major swing state. President Trump is leading in. What are you hearing on the ground there? How are voters really feeling? What's the mood in Michigan right now? Mood for Michigan is almost by am, uh, ambivalent in that you've got some people that are very, very keyed up and ready to put Trump back in office. And you have people that are ready to take our nation back. And unfortunately, have some people that are uh, disheartened and have lost hope saying, if Biden's the best we can do in office, what is the hope of our nation and have we already lost? And I'm fighting in there and saying, no, we haven't lost it. Every Republican has to get out there and vote and we have to take our nation back. We cannot afford another four years like Biden and Biden's administration. So it's hopeful for the biggest part, but there are some people that are losing hope and we have to restore the hope. And I really intend on and hope on being that voice of hope for not only Michigan, but for our nation again. Dr. Sherry O'Donnell, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you so much uh, for, your, for your efforts in really keeping America free and safe. We really appreciate it. And best of luck to you on your run for Senate. Thank you, Monica. My website is DocSherry2024.com. I would invite people to come and see and find out more of it. I've been endorsed by Dr. Peter McCullough, Robert Malone, and some of the industries um, most outspoken and most um, just credentialed even. So I am gaining that medical freedom backing. Thank you so much, Dr. Sherry. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.